This unit is intended for injecting single component resins into carbon fibers. Two component resins can also be injected if mixed prior to injection. A pneumatic cylinder raises and lowers the cover to facilitate its manipulation. Start by putting the resin in a metal pot that will act as the injection container. Put the pot in the tank. Swing the cover over the tank then close the whole assembly. Fasten the cover. Insert the injection tube into the valve and connect it to the tank. Make the whole assembly firm by tightening the locking ring. Place the heating sleeve over the injection tube. All that now remains is to connect the tube to the injection mould. The tank is placed on a precision balance that continuously measures the injected weight. Depending on this measured weight, the pinch valve automatically regulates the flow of resin injected throughout the whole injection phase. The user can also opt for single pressure injection by leaving the valve completely open. The machines are controlled from touch screens. These screens manage current maintenance functions as well as controlling the injection cycles. Process data is stored on a USB key for subsequent processing with Excel. Real-time plotting of curves is also possible. Mild heating of the resin must be maintained throughout the process to avoid the resin turning exothermic. For this purpose, the tank, the main item in the machine, is fitted with an internal heating system and the temperature is continuously measured by a probe. An electric motor provides continuous stirring of the resin. The vacuum pump is used for degassing the resin. Injection is carried out using either flow control or pressure control. Moreover, it can be performed using vacuum infusion. This equipment withstands pressures up to 10 bars. The system is simple to use and does not require heavy or costly cleaning. No metal machine parts come into contact with the resin, thus avoiding resin hang-up. This is a proven type of installation that has already been sold in numbers to Airbus, Dassault, SKF Aerospace and many others.